What's going on guys, Select Torch here, and we're back with yet another video. I just want to start off with the video is that only 87% of you guys are not subscribed. 87%? What is wrong? Now, let's get it going, and let's hit the subscribe button. We gotta get myself up there to 3k. We're almost nearing it. We only need 200 more, something like that, but who cares? Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. So what is the Trial of One? The Trial of One is a special dungeon that only Power One players can attempt. You will be put through a gauntlet of challenges that will effectively speedrun the early game at considerably higher difficulty than usual. Now, if you just heard what I said, you would know that this is nowhere near what the Trial of One is in today's day and age. So let's get into the points. Trial of One makes the game feel less meaningful. It takes away from low level progression as of right now. Many players just go to golems and chide to level 40 because of Mark. Mark is just superior in every way, shape, and form. It's better than bounties, it's better than everything else, it's better than deep bound. Having Mark in adept is objectively better than just going deep bound adept. Like, straight up. And deep bound is supposed to be for people who want that higher form progression, as well as that difficulty to scale up, but you are literally better off going Mark and just going to the depths and grinding. So then this brings me to my next point. The Trial of One encourages repeated wiping. This makes the game feel less like a roguelike. Now, as the first point, it makes the game feel less meaningful as it takes away from low level progression. I don't know about you guys, but I don't feel like we should be encouraging people to repeatedly wipe to get near perfect builds because honestly, it's very tedious. It takes away from the feeling of the game. You feel less immersed. You feel less attached to those characters that you're making. The Trial of One prevents new players from experiencing the game. New players are nowadays are encouraged to go directly into Trial of One just to learn the attack patterns of essentially every enemy in the game in complete safety. Yeah, in complete safety. Now, I'm pretty sure Red Goozer does not want this type of stuff in the game as he is a very big advocate on killing players. He is honestly a murder. I'm pretty sure he's a murder because he will, he will lay down void bricks everywhere. He's insane. But yeah, the Trial of One encouraging players to, you know, repeatedly wipe against and learning new mobs attack patterns, it just gets rid of the exploratory feel of the game that it had initially on release. And honestly, I really want to go back to this and I hope Layer 2 experiences less of these types of issues because, man, I like feeling immersed in these types of games. It makes me feel very happy. The Trial of One ultimately gatekeeps progression for new players. In order to progress without an extremely tedious EXP cap, Mark of Lone Warrior is essential. Now, for those new people that haven't played Deep Woken, they haven't gotten used to the mechanics and stuff, I feel like you're really taking away from them at the end of the day. Why should they have to suffer with the terrible XP gain while we, the player base that have consistently been playing the game and are probably gripping these freshies, encouraging them not to play the game? Like, this is just a roundabout way of saying, stop playing Deep Woken. <laughs> like, come on. Origins. Origins are really cool. They're a nice fun feature, right? Well, the Trial of One kind of trivializes every other origin in this game. Especially Deepbound. Having Mark is infinitely better than Deepbound. That's okay, because who really cares about Deepbound anyways? This is a shitty origin. Voidwalker. An origin centered around hunting bounties. Guess what they do? They default to Mark of the Lone Warrior. As soon as you become a Voidwalker, you head straight to Mark. Because why wouldn't you? It's literally better. <laughs> now, this may be a stretch, but I feel like... Trial of One encourages FOMO. If you guys don't know what FOMO is, it's the fear of missing out, right? As you might go through 40 wipes to get an exact talent setup, because you don't know if you'll ever receive those same set of cards a game because the bullshit RNG that you receive in this game. Yeah, encourages FOMO. It might be stretched, but man, I'm pulling your leg here. No, but seriously, I don't like RNG. Now, back in my day, I'm pretty sure originally the Trial of One was intended to reward players who had mastered PvE with a faster progression, but instead, it became a place for new players to practice PvP in a risk-free environment. Like, what the heck? Significant portion of the player base utilizes various cheeses in order to complete the Trial of One, and I feel like that's really goofy. And it's been patched over time, and you guys have been doing a good job at doing it. But, at the end of the day, I feel like it's further taking away from the purpose of rewarding skilled players. No, this isn't just a ramble video on the Trial of One and why it is a plague to this game. I'm gonna offer you guys a solution. I feel like we should rework Deep Bound to what Trial of One should have been, a harder form of progression that rewards the player for partaking in more difficult progression. This is quite literally the reason why Trial of One was made. Maybe you can uh, boost the XP cap, change the way spawns work, don't make it waves. Hey, I might even say, you know, give us some starter levels as a Deep Bound. I feel like starting as a Power One and Deep Bound is just, you know, a little unfair. I don't want to be smacking a lionfish for like, I don't know, 
10 minutes, but hey, it is what it is. Or hey, maybe even make an island designated for training. So, you know, you're like fucking Ichigo, you go to this area and you just fucking beat on some mobs for like one to 18. And they're like super hard, but they give you crazy XP, they give you luck, they give you everything. There's like crazy gear there, but you can only be there if you're one through 18. That'd be sick. Now, this is less trial of unrelated, but hey, can you guys give us a, you know, a way to maybe like turn in a card or two just so I can uh, get a specific card? Maybe that's a bad idea. I just want to turn in a card and, you know, get another hand of cards that, hey, I really didn't want herbivore. I really wanted critical strike. <laughs> but hey, that's all I have for you guys for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. Maybe you guys want to suggest a video that I'll do next. It's been a week. I know it's been a while since I did last upload. I feel bad for you guys. So yeah, I'll keep continue to make more content for you guys as I really do love doing this.